SCP-002, Object Class, a Euclid. Special Containment Procedures, SCP-002, is to remain connected to a suitable power supply at all times, to keep it in what appears to be a recharging mode. In case of electric outrage, the emergency barrier between the object and the facility is to be closed and the immediate area evacuated. Once facility power is re-established, alternating bursts of X-ray and ultraviolet light must strobe the area until SCP-002 is re to the power supply and returned to recharging mode. Containment area is to kept at a negative air pressure at all times. Teams, including a minimum of two members, are acquired within 20 meters of SCP-002 or its containment area. Personnel should maintain physical contact with one another at all times to confirm that there is another person present, as perception may be dulled, skewed, or influenced by proximity to the object. No personnel below level 3 are permitted within SCP-002. This requirement may be waived via written authorization from two off-site level 4 administrators. Command staffs issued such as waiver must be escorted by at least five level 3 security personnel for the duration of their contact, and must temporarily surrender their rank and security clearance. Following contact, command staff will be escorted at least 5 kilometers from SCP-002 to undergo a 72-hour quarantine and psychological evaluation. If deemed fit to return to duty by site staff, rank and security clearance may be resorted when quarantine expires. Description: SCP-002 resembles a tumorous, fleshy growth with a volume of roughly 60 meters per cube or 2,000 feet. An iron valve hatched on one side leads to the interior, which appears to be the standard low-rent apartment of modest size. One wall of the room possesses a single window, though no such opening is visible from the exterior. The room contains furniture which, upon examination, appears to be a sculptured bone woven hair, and various other biological substances produced by the human body. All matter tested thus far show independence or fragmented DNA sequences for each object in the room. Refer to Mahathan Report Cross Ref Document 00.023.603 for details related to the object's discovery. Reference to date, subject has been responsible for the disappearance of seven personnel. It has also been the time of the facility further furnished itself with two lamps, a throw rug, a television, a radio, a beanbag, chair, three books in an unknown language, four children's toys, and a small plotted plant. Tests with a variety of lab animals, including higher primates, have failed to provoke a response in SCP 002. Cavenders are well failed to produce any effect. Whatever process the subject uses to confer organic matters into furnishing is apparently only facilitated by the introduction of living humans. Mahan's report 00.023.603 The following is a brief report detailing the discovery of SCP-002. Subject was discovered in a small crater in northern Portugal where it struck the earth from orbit. Encased in a shell of thick rock, the fleshy exterior of the object was exposed by impact. A native farmer happened upon the site and reported his findings to the village elder. Subject gained SCP attention. When a level 4 agent posted in an area detected a small radioactive anomaly generated by the object, a collection squad of SCP security personnel led by General Mahasan was immediately dispatched to the area, where they quickly secured the subject in a large container and performed an initial testing with subjects recruited from a nearby village. Three men, individually sent into the structure, subsequently disappeared. Upon discovering this deadly property of the subject, General Hassan issued a level 4A termination order to any witnesses, roughly one quarter of the village, to ensure no outside knowledge of the object and initiated is transported to the SCP facility. Data expunged. During preparation for transport, four SCP security personnel were inexplicably drawn inside to the object where the two immediately disappeared. 
Following inspection, it appeared as if the object had grown several new furnishings and was beginning to look like the interior of an apartment room. General Hassan immediately ordered the requestation of several class 3 hazmat suits for the remaining security team members who proceeded to lift the container onto the waiting freight ship for transport to the SCP containment facility. Data expunged. Following the termination of General Hassan, SCP-002 was re-secured by SCP staff and brought into special containment in Classified, where it currently resides. Staff with a clearance below level 3 have been denied access to the SCP-002 container without prior approval of at least two level 4 staff after the Misan incident.